changes. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into the channel. Today is October 10th, 2020, Saturday afternoon, and want to do an update on the eBay uh, harassment video to e-commerce bites and Ina Steiner, who runs that blog and website. If you're not familiar with the story, I'll link the original video down below, but long story recapped is uh, six eBay employees, I believe it's six, maybe it was seven, the seventh one was arrested, uh, were arrested for harassment and uh, other charges against Ina, if you're not familiar with Ina's website, Ina's a great blog writer. She writes stories about e-commerce, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Shopify, every different type of uh, site. She's been a seller and a blogger for many years. Uh, I watch her stuff. I view her blog pretty much on a daily basis, if not every other day. And she does some great writing, but she is critical of some of the websites sometimes, which all of us can be when they make mistakes and mess up. We're critical of the sites. So uh, Ina, uh, Ina has been critical of eBay. And during Dev and Weneg, the previous CEO's tenor last year, uh, late 2018, early 2019, Ina made some articles about eBay that they were not happy about, among others, but specific ones, and it doesn't matter which ones, but uh, they decided to attack her. Uh, they started sending her spam mail and mail with bloody pig's heads and live cockroaches and also some other things. They sent uh, pornographic material to her neighbor's house with her husband's name on it. Her husband also helps her with the blog. And they just went on a crusade, you could call it, a mission of harassment, trying to get her to stop. They created Twitter handles to harass her some more. It went so far as to them flying out to where she lives on the East Coast, all the way from California to the East Coast, in order to follow her and try to put a GPS tracking device on her vehicle. This is scary, right? Uh, so eventually they were arrested. They were, turns out they were um, members of eBay's global security or protection team. Uh, one of them was a former police officer, I believe, and they are now in jail. They bailed out, I believe all of them bailed out. Uh, sad story, one of them is very young, 23 years old. Ina, um, you know, hasn't commented or made stories about this yet, but there were other stories posted on the internet. I'll try to link them below. Uh, but two of them have pleaded guilty to, uh, I believe, several of the charges. I think they were facing six or seven charges, 10, 15 years in jail, some of them more. Obviously, they probably worked out a plea deal to, to do less time or no time or probation. I'm not sure the details. They haven't released that. But two of the lesser people have pleaded guilty. So I will link those stories below. But let's go over to my iPad. I'll run down the story with you, and we'll read about it. And then you guys can give me your comments down below. And this is not surprising. They had them uh, pretty much cut and dry. Uh, hook, line, and sinker. They had all the evidence, the plane tickets, the receipts from gas stations, the rental car. Uh, they had text messages that they tried to clear. They had them dead to rights. They had the, uh, the evidence, so it wasn't going to end well at trial for them. I think some of them are still trying to go to trial, which is silly, because now they've got two other people against them who are probably agreeing to testify as part of the plea deal. That's usually how it works. So uh, not a good idea to fight it. Take the plea deal, you know, face whatever time they're facing and, and get it over with and move on. These two girls were smart to do so. Uh, but let's read about them and you guys can tell me how you feel down below. Okay, so here is a story. This is direct from ABC. Two former eBay employees plead guilty in harassment scheme. Two former eBay employees have pleaded guilty to their roles in a campaign to terrorize a publisher and editor of an online newsletter critical of the company with a scheme that included live spiders and other disturbing deliveries sent to their home. We talked about that. Again, I'll link that story below. Um, Stephanie Pop, former senior manager of global intelligence, and Veronica Zia, a former eBay contractor who worked as an intelligence analyst in eBay's Global Intelligence Center, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit cyber stalking and conspiracy to tamper with witnesses. They're scheduled to be sentenced in February. Now, I don't remember what they are facing, but I think it was like five years maximum for those. So what do I think they're going to get? They might do six months, 12 months. Who knows? We'll have to see. They are among seven total former eBay employees charged in a scheme that involved other anonymous deliveries sent to the couple's home, including a funeral wreath, a bloody pig Halloween mask. Three others are expected to plead guilty later this month. So five of the seven have pleaded guilty. The other two, no update uh, here. The employees also sent pornographic magazines with the husband's name on them to the neighbor's house, planned to break into the couple's garage to install a GPS device on their car. That's right. The car was inside the garage. So they went to uh, a 
uh, Home Depot or a Lowe's or somewhere, and they bought a pry bar and what they would need, gloves and everything, to get into the garage to put this GPS device on their car so they could track them. That's how far they were going. Now, they didn't actually go that far, but they were about to. And that's when they got noticed uh, by the husband and the wife following them, and they contacted police, and there was an undercover car, and so they gave up on that. Uh, they posted the couple's names and addresses online, advertising things like yard sales and encouraging strangers to knock on the door if the pair wasn't outside. They also advertised swingers parties late at night, which caused people to knock. That's pretty crazy. Uh, the couple was targeted after the newsletter published an article about a lawsuit filed by eBay accusing Amazon of poaching its sellers. Um, email comments were sent Friday to an attorney. An attorney for Pop declined to con uh, comment. So, yeah, they basically... the. The story that pushed it over the edge was last year, and I did a video about this as well. eBay sued Amazon for coming onto eBay and messaging sellers asking them to sell on Amazon, which was wrong. Amazon shouldn't have done that, and they got caught. But it brought you know attention to eBay that was negative in the way that it showed eBay was basically desperate not to lose sellers, and they were going as far as to filing lawsuits, which was fine, but it just showed the declining state. And eBay had had enough on top of the other articles that she had wrote about them, which is a lot of critical. Anytime eBay did anything wrong, she wrote an article. And so that's just what she does. She's a, a blogger, a writer, and eBay couldn't handle it. So that's what happened. There's the story. I'll link it below along with my video. Check it out and tell me what you think about um, what happened at eBay and the culture. And maybe if you've ever been in corporate America or executive world, you have some um, stories you want to tell or share down there with us below. I'll be happy to take a look at them. Maybe we can shout it out and uh, I'll watch for those in the comments section. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll keep you up to date on everything and I have another video coming out for you later tonight slash early tomorrow morning. Make sure you smash that like button before you leave. Turn it blue, the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more of those future videos. As always, the description box includes all the links, stories and everything for my training, coaching and equipment you may need. I'll see you guys next time.